The beef DI teams are iconic. What makes these teams so great is how the characters combine with each other. Some teams thrive on friendship, some on hatred, some on... Balls. But what if these teams had more members? In this video, I'm gonna be creating characters that would fit in in every single team. If you're still confused, let's just get straight into it. Let's start off with the two original BFDI teams, the Squishy Cherries and the Squashy Grapes. We can separate the 20 original contestants into two general groups, household objects, like Pin, Pencil, and Spongy, and the Elementals, Fire, Earth, Water, and Air. And because the leaders of both teams fit into each separate group, they will both get a new character corresponding to their group. Let's start off with the Squashy Grapes. And I wanted to design a character based on the Earth element. And so taking inspiration from this recommended character, I created Sand. The recommended character is actually called Sandy, but I didn't want it conflicting with a certain Texan squirrel. Now for the squishy cherries, they're getting a household object character. One thing you gotta remember is that the original 20 are based on very simple mm. objects. And so what's more simple than a potted plant? Or I guess it's just a pot right now. But I think it would be cool if it started growing as the seasons progressed. But we're not done with season 1 just yet. Later in the season, a new team was formed. Team Another Name. So basically what I'm thinking is that this character is gonna be a mixture of both groups. I think I have an idea. So according to Chinese philosophy, unlike the elements we're used to, fire, earth, water, and air, they actually have five elements. Water, wood, fire, earth, and the fifth element, metal. So let's mix the two groups together and create a metallic household object. So that's how I came up with the design for screw. And as a little extra detail, this is what I think they would sound like. It just got worse and worse. I was waiting for him to go. I was waiting and waiting. Finally, the miracle happened. Okay, now we're actually finished with season one. Please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Anyways, BFDIA time. If I were to describe BFDIA in two words, it would be recommended characters. This season gave us so many beloved contestants that were once merely comments by random people. And to fully appreciate that, all the three new characters from Wobunch, Team No Name, and Free Smart are all gonna be based on recommended characters. So let's start by paying tribute to the most influential recommender, Blue Jay, who is the recommender of Bombay, the first ever recommended character. So let's take a look at all of the characters he recommended. So there's Cap, which is kinda boring, and Ball is really boring, so I guess we'll just go with... Box. And to make the design more interesting, my design is the box open. And don't ask what's inside the box. So for Team No Name, I'm just gonna take a completely random recommended character, so let's go with... Cupcake. But the colors are kinda hurting my eyes, so let's dumb it down a little. And here's my design for Cupcake. And there's a cherry on top, I added a cherry on top. Okay, that was not funny. Anyways, the last BFDI character will go on Free Smart. This character is recommended by two of the most influential recommenders. Blue Jay, who is the first ever recommender, and also Alex Lyon, the recommender of Marker, and the creator of Find the Markers. This character being Crayon, I picture her as an alliance alternate who thinks she's part of the main alliance, and so to keep her out of the clubhouse of awesomeness, they just pretend she's a security. Guard. I hope you like my designs for BFDIA, but before we move to BFB, I just wanna say that all of the characters in this video are all completely free to use, but only if you credit me of course. You can use it for your object show, animations, viewer votings, team what ifs, whatever you want. I have a Google Drive with all the characters in the description if you wanna use them. So let's move on to BFB with 8 new characters. Let's start off with Ions. The BFDI character guide mentions how this team feels more like two teams combined, with one part being the main alliance, and the others being flower, funny, snowball, and lightning. Since we already made an alliance character, let's create a new character for the other sub-team. The requirement is for them to have killed lots of people. How many people have you killed? To be able to beat people up for Flower. I really want Snowball on my team so he can beat people up for me. Appreciate Flower's beauty. Ruby on my team because she saw how beautiful I am. And they have a mean and aggressive altitude. But if she's got that aggressive attitude, then I'll settle for that. And preferably not be armless. Fanny not having arms is a real letdown. Taking all of that into account, I created Boxing Glove, who is not armless. Technically, he has three arms. For Team Beep, all of the characters are either people if he thinks are her friends, or people she thinks she could help. That's why this character needs to be someone she could get along with, while also having some sort of condition that would make Leafy want to help them. Which is why the character I came up with is Mushroom, which as you can tell has no eyes, but still has a mouth, so Leafy could talk to her. Let's move over to Death Pact, where the only real requirement to join is to be willing to prevent death, so we don't have a lot to work with. So let's get creative. In the scene that 3 joined Death Pact, he said, I agree, I'm all about life. The joke is that he is a tree, and trees are alive. So let's base this new character off of another object that is actually alive in real life. The infamous Minecraft crop, Wheat. This is actually my favorite character so far, so please tell me if you like it. Moving on to Team Ice Cube, it's pretty messy. Even the official BFDI character guide says that they're a really disorganized team. But one thing is that most of the team is extremely hyperactive. So meet Lump. He actually has two moods. Tired mood, which is just fed up with his team and happy mood, where he's not fed up with his team. 
Moving on to the losers, their only defining characteristic is that they're all fans of losers. So instead, let's think. If you already have winner and loser, the only thing we're missing is the runner-up, who actually already exists as a recommended character, and he looks like this. But let's change up the design a bit. Because loser has arms and legs, and winner has only legs, runner-up is only gonna have arms. Let's soften up the edges, remove the arms, and that's my design for runner-up. Now for a better name than that. My character will be a ball, like golf ball, tennis ball, basketball, and eight ball, and also be very intelligent. This big brain time. And I actually came up with the perfect character for this team. A globe. It's so simple, but it's just so perfect, okay? Leave me alone. In Team Free Foods case, the team mainly includes characters based on school supplies. So what is a food you eat in school? I'll give you a couple seconds. A bottle of glue. I mean, I thought it was food when I was eight, so it kinda counts, right? Anyways, here's glue. Next up is Team Ice Cube, and it's a mixture of various conflicting characters. But one tiny theming I was able to find is that all of the characters are either edible or have some metallic element to them. And there's also a book. So I created Can, or Can of Beans, or Tin Can. I didn't come up with a name for it, so let's just call him Robertson. Yeah, that's fine. And so BFB is complete. Let's continue to post-split BFB. After the split, the two teams, they have knots and they have coats, were formed. The teams are based off the warm and cold sides of the color wheel, with the warm team having shades of red and the cold team being more blue. The cold have knots are missing a yellow character, and the warm have knots are missing a purple character. So for that reason, I created honey for the have coats, and for the have knots, I created thread. But we do have one more team in BFB post-split. The Newbie Alliance is next. Since post-split is all about colors, by looking at the Newbie Alliance color scheme, according to the color wheel, the next color in line has to be yellow. Even if we bring the unofficial Newbie Alliance members, it's still only yellow left. This character should also be edible, because all of the characters are digestible. So taking all of that into account, I created Starfoot. Now that we're done with BFB, let's move on to Teapot. Starting off with the strongest team on Earth, after Basketball, Grassy, and Robot Flower split up from Golf Ball, Basketball says, First time on a team with no other balls! Hmm, well, Eggie looks kinda like a ball. You know what else is also kinda like a ball? A beehive. This character also has to be useless in Snowball's mind, as the entire reason the team was named the strongest team on Earth is because he thought this team was weak. So that's what beehive is gonna be like. And yes, also, I know I just made a honey character, but none of this is real, so just let it slide, please. Now for just notes. The only real joining requirement for the team is just to be able to make the <coughs> face. And so I'm just gonna go all out with the <coughs> design and make this character really <coughs> and, <coughs> and, <coughs> and because <coughs> it's based off of the face of an animal, so <coughs> would have to be related to animals. So the <coughs> related to animals I came up with is frisbee. The S is next, and this team pretty much has no joining requirements. It's basically just a friend group. But there is one thing, the two major parts of the team were connected because Cloudy wanted to collect winner. I know I'm really making a stretch here, but I'm gonna base this character off of something Cloudy would really want to collect. And I wanted to bring back a lost forgotten character from the past of BFDI. One of Ruby's sisters, Sapphire. But I'm gonna give her a redesign, because I just don't want another Ruby clone. For Team Death Pact again, the joining requirement is to be willing to prevent death, again. So like last season, there isn't much we can base this character off of. So I just went with an object that is used to protect wounds from bacteria. A band-aid. Boom. World record time. For Are You Okay, the team was formed by Puffball, coming after Tennis Ball and Golf Ball, because she wanted to be part of a team with balls. Fry's following Puffball because they were together in free food last season. Eraser following Fry's because of free food, and Pen following Eraser because they were friends. So in this pattern, the new character should come after pen. And you know what always goes well with pen? Pen and paper. And to make the character not really boring, I decided to make him a special kind of paper. So the character I came up with is Blueprint, a character Golf Ball can actually appreciate. Teammate is next, and this team is the combined forces of War Bunch from BFDIA and the characters who have zigzags on them. Since we already made a new character for War Bunch, I'm just gonna go all out with the zigzag teaming and have this character fully made of zigzags. And after a bit of brainstorming, I came up with Ribbon, who is 100% zigzags. And now finally, for Team Teardrop, since Tidi is the only member of this team, it would only make sense to give her a lost cousin, Dreardrop. 